Okay, so hopefully you've seen yesterday's video. If you didn't, make sure you check it out before this one because it'll make sense. There's three more ball and core workout skills today and we're gonna go through them for skill, balance and technique. Let's get into the first one. Okay, so the first skill that we're gonna be working on is the double dribble, as we like to call it here at IFS. So it's gonna be, we're gonna be using both feet. We're gonna be using the outside and the inside of both feet. So it's gonna be outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, just like that, right to left. Yeah, so we're using both feet, nice and slow, really good if you want to get good at dribbling if you really want to push yourself in dribbling it's the perfect little drill to do little workout it's also tiring on your legs and fitness but just getting loads of little touches players like Messi Neymar would love this type of thing because their dribbling is what they really focus on let's get Bears to do it three two one and go good 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 technique focus technique first speed look up well done Good feet, keep going. Good, good, good. Set, well done. Well set, well set, well set, well done. Four, three, two, one. Well done, excellent. Okay, you got a lot in there. And then Baze's score will be right here. So there's three different guides, there's a stage one, a stage two and stage three. And Baze is obviously going to be working towards stage three because he's a little older. But for you younger people, one and two is perfectly fine. Okay, so moving on to the second ball and core work skill for today, the fifth one altogether, the step over. Now the step over is obviously a tiring one, especially if you're doing it for 30 seconds straight. But if you focus on technique, you'll get a lot in. If you focus, try and just get as many as you can in, in five seconds, the speed will go out the window and you'll end up kicking the ball away. Because you are going all the way around the ball. If you try really go on speed, you end up kicking it away and you lose time. So the best way is just to take it nice at your pace for technique and slowly you'll build up the speed. When we're doing a step over as well, we're not going all the way around. We're not doing this. That's not a step over. Step over is around and low on the ball, yeah? just like that so we're just going to go around a nice little jump in between each one i'm not going fast i don't need to as long as there's a technique there then slowly we can speed up our feet as we go okay this one's mainly technique and then speed will come but balance as well is important with the jump one and go well done good good feet good stuff well done the ball shouldn't move you shouldn't touch that ball well done well done, 20 seconds left. Keep going, keep the technique, don't focus speed. Focus, get your foot around the wall. Lovely. Well done, well done. 10 seconds, keep going, keep pushing. Last few in, keep it nice and low. Oh, lost his burns there for a second, keep going. And stop, well done. Again, the guide will be on screen right now. Stage one, stage two, stage three. And Baze's skull will be on screen right now okay so the last ball and core work skill for today is the drag touch as we like to call it here at ifs all it is is dragging the ball back and touching it with your laces okay so we're going to be using the sole of our foot we're going to do this on both feet but Baze will probably just practice today on one foot and i'll show you on one foot today but you do want to practice everything with both feet that's why the step overs had both feet working because it's very important so the drag touch like i say using our sole bringing the ball back and touching it with our laces but i'm not standing still i'm not doing this you can get a few in but it's better and you can get more speed if you focus the technique of the jump with the left leg or the standing leg okay so you'll notice when i'm doing this my foot's planted on the floor but when i'm doing it properly my foot's working and i can get a lot more speed in and it will burn your calf yeah it'll burn your calf muscle right here if you don't know where the calf muscle is it's this muscle right here it will burn but it's only for 30 seconds push yourself get the speed that you need and let's see what score bears can get let's do it two one and go well done good so you can see he's focuses his arms for balance and he's getting that jump going for a little bit more speed and also a bit of technique keep going 10 seconds gone keep going keep touching keep touching focus on that technique good 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 well done bend the calf yep keep going 10 seconds keep this focus technique focus technique keep going don't lose the ball six seconds keep going five four three two one and stop well done as usual on screen the stage one stage two and stage three and bases is right right there so there were three more ball and call workout drills if you guys enjoyed them make sure you leave a like comment down below your favorite one 
practice them at home. They do speed your feet up and allow you to do skills much, much better than just practicing skills. This is what I did before I did all my skills, so make sure you do them as well. And yeah, I'll uh, see you in tomorrow's video.